fans of high quality entertainment, I thought I would rank the Clash albums. And I'm not including Cut the Crap or any, you know, live albums or anything. Uh, as some of you know, I've, I have the Clash box set and they didn't include Cut the Crap because <laughs> uh, I think most of the members don't consider that a, a real Clash help. Even, uh, I think, Joe Strummer didn't care for Cut the Crap. And I have heard it, and, and I don't like it. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, just their five studio albums. Starting with their debut, The Clash, which came out in 1977. And... I bought it when it came, like, when it came to Canada. I think it was 1977 when we received it. And I'm pretty sure, I know there's a U.S. version and a U.K. version, and, yeah, I'm 100, well, 99% certain that it was the U.K. version that I heard. Just a little spiel about the album. The Clash is the debut studio album by English punk rock band, The Clash. It was released on April 8th, 1977 through CBS Records. Recorded and mixed over three weeks in February 1977 for 4,000 pounds. It would go on to reach number 12 on the UK charts and has been included on many retrospective rankings as one of the greatest punk albums of all time. Songs on the album were composed by guitarist Joe Strummer and Mick Jones with the notable exception of the reggae cover Police and Thieves. Several songs from these sessions, including Janie Jones, White Riot and London's Burning, became classics of the punk genre and were among the first punk songs to see significant presence on singles charts. The album features Jones and Strummer sharing guitar and vocal duties with Paul Simonon on bass and Terry Chimes on drums, his only studio appearance with the band. The album was not released in the U.S. until 1979, making it the second U.S. release. The U.S. version also included a significantly different track listing, changing the track order and swapping up several songs for non-album tracks. Yeah, like, uh, I Fought the Law. So, yeah, I don't remember that being on the album that I bought back in 1977. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the, you know, ratings. It's going to be A, B, C, plus, minus. So this album was produced by Mickey Foot, and I loved it. You know, along with the Sex Pistols and whatever punk albums came out around that time, and Wire and everything. But, you know, listening to this, it's not even, I don't even consider it punk rock. It's just good old rock and roll, <laughs> you know. Uh, And uh, I, I used to wonder, why are there only three members? You know, there, there's four members in the band. There's only three. But Terry Chimes just didn't make the album cover. And what I'll do with this series is my least favorite song and my three favorite songs. So, I love the whole album. Very, every time I play it, I, I absolutely love all of it. But my least favorite, if I had to choose one, would be Hayden War, which I still really like. And my top three favorite songs are number three, Police and Thieves. Police and Thieves in the Street. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Number two, killer of an opening track, Janie Jones, and a killer of a closing track. Garage Land or Garage Land. The production is excellent. I would give that a solid A. Uh, the album cover, I would give a a very very solid B. I like it. It's very punky looking. And the back cover too. That's right. And my overall rating, I ha have to rate this one pretty high. I'm going to give it a solid A. The only reason I wouldn't give it an A plus is 
when I go to listen to a, a Clash album, I usually don't pull this one out. Uh, even though I love it, it's just, there, there's other albums I would rather listen to. But I, I just listened to this today, before I did the review, and I enjoyed it all. You know, don't be put off by, by the name, you know, the genre punk rock, because, like I said, it's not punk rock to me, it's just really, really, really good rock and roll. And that is it. Up next will be... Let me get it here. Give them enough rope. So thanks for watching and have a great day.